Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are diving into Walmart's strategic move to implement a stock split zone set to take effect on Monday, February 26, 2024. So, what does a stock split entail? And how will it impact both current and potential Walmart investors? These are important questions and I will thoroughly explore and address them in this episode. So stay tuned for a comprehensive analysis on this significant development. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Investment Analysis Channel. Today we are diving into the world of investment opportunities especially focusing on the Walmart stock split. So grab a copper. Of course, I mean a cup of tea and then subscribe to the channel. Thank you. All right. Imagine you are new to investing, just like my friend Farajala. I hope you still remember him. Stick around. I'll walk you through the meaning of this concept. A stock split is a corporate action where a company increases the number of its outstanding shares by issuing more shares to existing shareholders. This action changes the number of shares each shareholder owns proportionately but does not affect the total value of the company. Wow! <laughs> and to inform you, Walmart will be implementing a three to a three for one stock split. What does a three for one stock split mean? Good question. Well, simply put, for every share you currently own, after the split, you will have three shares. Yes, you had me right. However, the value of each share will adjust accordingly, but the overall value of your investment remains the same. <laughs> Hold on, let me provide a more detailed explanation and um, please pay attention to the way I elaborated on it for Farajala. You see, a 3 to 1 stock split means that for every share an investor currently holds, they will receive an additional 2 shares. This results in the total number of shares held by the investors being tripled, while the price per share is reduced by a third. Hmm. It's still confusing. Just bear with me. Let me give you a specific example. For example, if an investor own 100 shares of Walmart, I mean share at the current price of uh, 175 per share, which is the current price now in February 2024. Okay, after the 3 to 1 stock split, they will hold 300 shares, but the price per share will be adjusted to approximately $58.33. That about, but well, divide 175 by, I mean, $175, the current price by 3. And please note, and this is a key point, this type of stock split does not change the overall value of the investor's holding. I need to emphasize that. Aha! The next logical question will be if a stock split doesn't fundamentally alter the intrinsic value of a company, then why initiate and implement it? Aha! Okay, you see, in response to your question, I conducted some research on the topic to understand why Walmart in particular initiated the 3 to 1 split. Stay tuned. Okay, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Thank you. Moving on. What are the factors that prompt a company to initiate a stock split? One, a stock split can make shares more avoidable for individual investors, potentially increasing the stock's liquidity and broadening its investors' base. Two, this move May also be aimed at making the stock more attractive to retail investors. You know I mean? 
thereby enhancing market participation. Three, a lower stock price resulting from a split could lead to increased demand, potentially driving up the driving up the stock price in the long term. Furthermore, a stock split can signal confidence in the company's future growth prospect, which may positively impact investor sentiment. Five, lastly, it's important to consider that the decision to initiate a I mean stock split is often influenced by a combination of financial market and strategic consideration unique to each company's circumstance, in this case, Walmart. Following the 3 to 1 stock split, Walmart shares are likely to experience several I mean, impacts. First, the lower price resulting from the split may attract a broader range of individual investors, which I've mentioned, potentially increasing the stock liquidity and trading volume. This increased accessibility could lead to heightened market participation and potentially improve price discovery. Okay, the big question. So when is the best time to buy the Walmart shares? Before the split or after? Aha! Uh -huh. Please, I'd like to hear your comment. Well, in my opinion, investing before the split may offer the opportunity to hold more shares at a relatively lower cost potentially positioning investors to benefit from the anticipated rise in demand and stock price post split. On the other hand, investing after the split allow investors to acquire shares at a reduced price, potentially appealing to a wider range of individual investors and increasing liquidity. Post split Investors aim to take advantage of the potential long-term growth following the split. Ultimately, decision, the decision to invest before or after a stock split should align with an investor-specific financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. Note, please, this is key. Investors must conduct thorough research. Consider the company's fundamentals and consult with financial advisors before making any investment decision related to the stock split. Aha! Uh -huh. This should be clear enough. Okay. Just in case. In summary, short-term effect. You see, stock split often see a temporary price pump due to increased interest and trading activity. However, this does not guarantee long-term gains and the long-term impact. In my opinion, investors should focus on the company's fundamental growth prospect and valuation for long-term investment decision. The split itself doesn't inherently make the stock more or less attractive. In addition to the summary, please note, the split doesn't affect dividends, which are also adjusted proportionally. Fractional shares resulting from the split are typically converted to cash. The split was approved by Walmart board and was to be implemented shortly. If not, maybe it would have been implemented when you hear this and uh, hear and watch this video. Remember, while the split itself does not lead to increasing the company's market capitalization or intrinsic value, it can potentially attract more investors due to the lower share price. This increased demand may drive up the stock price in the long run. And please note, however, please note, individual stock price movements are influenced by a multitude of factors, including company performance, market condition, sentiment, etc. etc. Aha, here comes the best part. Subscribe, like, and comment. Remember, our goal is to generate wealth, build companies, and then create jobs. Bye now. See you soon. Thank you.